welcome to the CU Online podcast. So today we will be discussing the various career opportunities and options that are available after completing an MSc in Mathematics. So stay tuned as we explore potential path for your future. I am thrilled to have a very special guest with us today, Dr. Harish Nagar sir. Dr. Nagar is currently serving as the Associate Director of the Department of Mathematics at the Chandigarh University. With over 23 years of experience in the teaching, research and administration, he has an impressive academic portfolio including 105 research papers, 10 plus authored books, 4 edited books and 6 patent. He has supervised 14 PhDs and is currently guiding several more. His contribution to the field of mathematics have been recognized globally with research presentation in China, the USA, Japan and beyond. He has also received research funding from esteemed organizations including the Science and Engineering Research Board like INSA and ICIAM. His research area include fractional calculus, special function, optimization method, integral transforms and image processing techniques. So, Professor Nagar, it's a pleasure to have you today on the podcast. So, welcome to you in the podcast. Thank you, ma'am. It's my pleasure to be here to give my insight on the career aspects of MSc Mathematics students. As you know, mathematics is the field. So, from birth to the death of the person, each and every field required the mathematics, uh, knowledge of mathematics basically. So mathematics is a very huge aspect in our life. We know that uh, without mathematics, we are not able to survive throughout this world. So mathematics is a very important aspect for each and every person. Yeah. So, uh, mathematics uh, has a cornerstone for uh, various industries, but in today's uh, like uh, evolving uh, in various fields, what are the career opportunities uh, for uh, mathematics uh, graduate? Mathematics graduate have ample opportunity as per the scenario, today's uh, world is a very growing in terms of technology, in terms of artificial intelligence and computational. So without mathematics foundation, such fields are not survived. So for survival of such fields, each and every person should know the basic fundamentals of mathematics. Yes. So mathematics, I think in my opinion, mathematics is the backbone of all these fields. Okay, yeah. So, uh, I mean, uh, like we have uh, introduced here, uh, like in CU Online MSc Mathematic program. So, uh, we uh, have heard about this thing like uh, um, the career opportunities, finance and uh, academia. So, do you uh, please guide us that uh, any unexpected and unconventional uh, career opportunities uh, for MSc Mathematic uh, graduate? Yeah. The, yes, there are ample opportunity that is unconventional. Basically, uh, there are traditional opportunity. One can go for research, teaching yes. or maybe in academia. But apart from that, there are ample opportunity for unconventional uh, things yes. like one should go for biotechnology, uh, one should go for uh, forensic sciences without mathematics tool or modeling of yes. mathematics no one can survive yes. so these are the unconventional or tradition beyond the traditional things one should go for such activity yes. he he may or she may be become a data analyst yes. or there are ample opportunity available in industry related to data analyst one should go for economist job, one should go for government jobs in public sectors also there are uh, ample opportunity for mathematics 
the students. Yeah. So, according to you, like uh, how they uh, uh, improve their uh, their self for uh, the higher studies for the research. I mean, how they have to, if uh, somebody want to go for research, like in online education students. So, how you guide them that uh, they should follow this path, then they can go for this area or not. Like how you guide them. Actually, uh, while doing MSc in mathematics, uh, one should create a context. Basically, one should go for conferences, one should go for workshops, or maybe uh, they have to create their circle in such a way so that they can get the opportunities related to mathematics. So, one should create their circle a uh, big like attending conferences, they may contact through the experts in the field of mathematics, they may contact to industry persons. Yes. So, industry persons, actually industry persons required a person with theoretical skill as well as practical skills yes. or practical yes. knowledge. And while completing MSc mathematics, a student will get the technical knowledge as well as, as, well as uh, theoretical knowledge. So, I think in my opinion, uh, nowadays industries can observe such mathematicians. Yeah. So, there are uh, ample opportunity for mathematicians yeah. doing MSc mathematics. In the today's world, there is a data science uh, yeah. like AI are booming nowadays. So, what are the benefit for uh, mathematician uh, of these tools like AI and uh, Actually, uh, uh, computing is based on totally fundamentals of mathematics. Okay. And without fundamentals, no computing or no, no, no such type of modeling is there. Yeah. So, if one should know the basic concept of mathematics, mm -hmm. so he or she may easily uh, observe uh, in industry because of they have skills, they have knowledge about computational or they have knowledge of modeling. So, they may grasp by industry very easily. Yes, yes. So, do you think that uh, mathematics uh, have a great uh, contribution uh, like uh, in the field of psychology and other cognitive science field? Yes, yes, of course, because of uh, uh, we know that today number of persons invested in stock markets yeah. or stock exchange. Yes. So, and uh, we know that India is a growing economy. So, everyone wants to become a rich in a short, very short yes. period of time. So, one should go for uh, stock exchange, okay. So, while applying for stock exchange, so what one should know the… They first know the yeah. graph. Graphs like and other and things, grow, okay, yeah. how can they invest in yes. stock market or uh, what is the risk there. So, so you should have a proper knowledge for yeah, it. Yeah. There, are, there are a number of uh, artificial intelligence based uh, platforms. Those were identify the uh, stocks exchange or maybe uh, some kind of companies. Mm -hmm. So that one should go for better benefits or one can go for uh, their profitable earnings through stock market. So without mathematics knowledge or without the modeling, it's not it's possible. Not possible. Yeah. They, they should have the knowledge. First, uh, like uh, if you can see any uh, a person can start a business. So, first you, they have to think about that uh, how much which area and which business like grow. So, mathematics are very much important and even statistics are very important at, at that time. They first know the growing business now, nowadays like you know. Definitely. Because of uh, uh, when one should go for a startup, so he has to know the market scenario, yes. he has to survey uh, market trends. Yes. So, for that, statistical tools are much yes. essential or much, much beneficial for him. After getting the information from the market, one should know where to plan their product or where they can get the raw materials related to their products. So, for that, they need uh, the transportation yes. uh, techniques. Yeah. They need to know the optimizations of the particular products. Yeah. So, for 
production unit or for any kind of unit one should at least know the basic concepts basic of mathematics concept. basic concepts of statistics yes. and the concept for artificial intelligence and computation programming so mathematics degree it's not about this they just uh, take a degree like it, uh, it is applicable uh, in uh, day to day life also yeah, yeah. definitely yeah. Yeah. without uh, um, mathematics like we can't do anything right so um, any other uh, like uh, career opportunities uh, you want to suggest our learner that uh, after completion of msc mathematics what they have to do like in uh, the contribution in the interdisciplinary research actually uh, in today's scenario there are uh, ample opportunity in interdisciplinary research there are the fields like biotechnology artificial intelligence crypto or cryptography or aeronautical science or aerospace so student one one should go for such type of opportunities they may go for uh, policy decision making opportunities or may go for government jobs also yes. so i think there without maths there is nothing nothing mm, yeah right in the world right so from ancient period to current scenario mathematics is more important rather than the other subjects so so according to you uh, which industries uh, are uh, i mean uh, are nowadays are uh, highest demand for mathematician um, uh, actually the industry those were based on uh, artificial intelligence computational or maybe uh, related to modeling all are required mathematics yeah. because of they need a person having technical skill as well as theoretical knowledge and a mathematician have both because of nowadays every mathematics program having the courses related to technical skills okay. like uh, artificial intelligence big data analytics or inference statistical inference yeah. so these are the essential courses which A student needs to develop their career in the field of industries. Okay. So every industry is wants such type of students, those having such type of skills. Yeah. So in my opinion, every industry required mathematician nowadays. So yeah, that was a fantastic uh, advice. Uh, so thank you, uh, thank Professor you, Nagar, for sharing your valuable insight. It was a pleasure to have you on the podcast, and to our listener, thank you for tuning in. And if you ha- found this episode helpful, don't forget to subscribe and share. Until next time, keep exploring the world of mathematics.